I'm the whore and I'm the holy woman. I'm the wife and I'm the virgin. I'm the forgotten and I'm the found. And so it goes with the Gospel of Mary Magdalene and it shows something really profound for all of us that you are the orphan child and you're the mother who calls for her own. And this is the place where often we create a division, a separation in the midst of you know our despair we want to feel bliss and hope or in our midst of our pain we want to feel joy but if we say truly at the core the pain and the joy the human and the divine the lost in you and the one who has already been found then there is something that happens that unites all what we have left out and separated, cast out our humanity, cast out our, um, yeah, where we feel completely alone. And we call it the lower self. And here's the higher self. And over there is the enlightened one. And there is the ego. But this creates an enormous split and a struggle, right? It's a struggle against something. And yet when we really go deeply into the path of love and the teachings, it says, she's all, she's the all. What does that mean? She's the face of this tree, of this tree here. She's the face of you of the the baby that's crying or the homeless person on the street she's the goddess and she's the vulnerable human being and this is such a beautiful way of not holding but recognizing the truth that in the midst of it you are already held you already are received. It's not this trying to hold it all and trying to get the concepts right and trying to understand and make sense of something that just makes no sense in the mind. And then you find something and you hold onto it for dear life. And then you try to let go. You know all the rituals people do to let go? <laughs> and next year you do the same. <laughs> because it's not that you have to try to let go and you don't have to try to hold it all. That's impossible. But to fall into the beautiful recognition, you already are held. You can never fall out of her holding. It's a fact. Here's the, here's the earth. She holds you right now. And this ground of being to fall into that is such a relief for many women that are guide and to realize yes you don't need to create the love and be the loving and all that there's so much work but to fall into you already are loved in the midst of your struggle in the midst of your longing you already are loved um, and we use the terrible gateway of separation, I call it, to walk into union right through that what you're trying to avoid the most, what we're all trying to avoid the most, <laughs> this ache inside. And that is your holy gate into liberation, really. So. And we can walk in the midst of this density of our world in love, in the midst of the forgetting that we remember the holy, we remember the breath that is breathing us all the time and carrying us across the shores from separation to home. <laughs>